Welcome to Manage Engine. In this video, we shall see how to integrate Rapid7 Insight VM Cloud with Endpoint Central. First, let us see how to generate API key from Rapid7 Insight VM Cloud Portal. Begin by navigating to this URL. The link for this URL has been provided in the description. Once logged in, access the left pane, select Administration, and select User Management, and select User. It's important to note that if the User Management tab is invisible, your current login does not have platform administrator privileges. In such cases, you'll need to contact your platform administrator to request the necessary access. Within the Users tab, verify that the essential access settings are present for API key generation for that particular user. These include Platform Admin should be enabled. Check that the account status is marked active. Confirm that the Role section lists you as Administrator. If any of these settings are missing, you'll need to update them. To do so, click the Edit option in the Users tab. Now, let's move on to the API Key Generation. Navigate to the API Key Management tab, find User Keys, and click on Generate New User Key. You'll then select your organization and enter a name for the API Key. Once you click Submit, a pop-up will display your newly generated API Key. Be sure to copy the API Key from the pop-up, as you'll need it to configure within the Endpoint Central integration. Once you have copied the API key in the Endpoint Central Console, go to Admin and select Threat Scanner Settings under Integrations. Select Integrate Now and click on Insight VM Cloud. Enter the region code under Insight VM Cloud Base URL and then paste your API key. If required, you can also configure Sync Settings. Once you have done all these, click on Save to enable the integration. Once integrated, the details can be viewed here. You can also choose to modify or delete these integration settings. To configure the integration, navigate to Threats and Patches and choose Insight VM Cloud. The vulnerability details will appear on the console once the data has been imported successfully. Once the data has been imported, you can see the Software Vulnerabilities view that shows all the vulnerabilities detected by Insight VM. The Vulnerable Systems view shows the list of vulnerable systems alongside the corresponding vulnerability count. The Applicable Patches view shows the vulnerability count detected by Insight VM and their corresponding patch details for remediation. And finally, we have detailed view that shows all the detected vulnerabilities, their affected systems, and applicable patches. You can choose to deploy the available patches for the vulnerabilities detected by this vulnerability scanner. Thanks for watching this video.